Hi, um, today we will talk about general adaptation syndrome. It's a series of physiological reactions the body makes when stress is long lasting. General adaptation syndrome was first described by Hans Selye, who is considered the father of stress. First stage of gas is an alarm reaction. It's basically the fight or flight response to an emergency. So the sympathetic nervous system gets activated and that results in adrenal glands activation and the release of epinephrine and norepinephrine. There is also slow response from the HPA axis resulting in cortisol release. We will talk about HPA axis properly in another video. The next stage is the stage of resistance. During this stage, the body tries to adapt to the stressor. The initial reactions of the sympathetic nervous system becomes less pronounced and HPA activation dominates. Physiological arousal remains higher than normal and the body replenishes the hormones the adrenal glands has released. Despite this continuous physiological arousal, the individual may show few outward signs of stress, but the ability to resist new stresses may become impaired. According to Selye, this impairment may eventually make the individual vulnerable to health problems. He called it the diseases of adaptation. It includes ulcers, high blood pressure, asthma, etc. The final stage of gas is the stage of exhaustion. In this stage, the prolonged physiological arousal produced by the long-term stress has depleted the body energy. The immune system is weak and there is limited resistance. When stress continues in this stage, there will be damage to internal organs and even death can occur. This is the stage that presents with insomnia, burnout or depression.